been giving this girl pass. She been snaking, but what I am gonna air out is that this bitch is fake. Period. Nick ended up responding saying, I love you too, and you made me cry with these messages. You really hurt me. I just don't know. Ever met enough. That's when we met up in Starbucks. I had CJ and you had Kaiser with you. They both playing in the backseat while me and you talking about what you don't do and how you live in and this and the third. And I just had a lot of throwback memories and I really like love you. Never felt any other way. Still don't. You didn't need a Carmen. You didn't want to hang with Carmen. So the time you needed Carmen or wanted to hang with Carmen, call me and say, you I blocked you because I felt like you was really moving very sneaky and you was being fake. Would you ever be cool with Carmen again? A lot of people ask me this question. No. That you will not be cool with me again because I blocked you and you can tell me that. That's the only reason why you really answer that question. Oh, the real you. But see, you like to put a fake you on camera. So let's get into the conclusion. Ba -dum -ba -dum 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 Now, did Carmen deserve an apology from Neek and King? Throughout the entire video, right, Carmen mentioned how Neek and King never really apologized to her after the situation that happened last year where she got dragged because of King. She mentioned it not just once, not just twice, but many times. So she really does need that to get addressed because it would have affected her. A lot of people would have been dragging her, saying that she cheated or she was the reason why Neek and King broke up or a part of the reason in and not a lot of people know the whole situation like not everyone is watching Martin Lewis and watch my whole series got the conclusion like no one knows even me like there's some things that still have a question mark all because King fails to address it properly now a lot of people feel that King was the big man and apologized in that video that he made or it was an IG live I forgot but it was a blanket apology he never went into proper detail and apologize or explain anything it was basically to get the heat off his back and Neek never apologized to her publicly either now yeah they should apologize to Carmen especially King he was the reason why the whole situation happened in the first place yes Neek played part of it and escalated the situation and made it far more worse by running to social media by that tweet that she made and she deleted but he like never debunked all the accusations started from when and he allegedly started coming over to Carmen and Corey's house uninvited. Today, according to Carmen and Corey, King ended up randomly just started coming over to their place uninvited. King just started popping up to our house out the blue. Me and Carmen just at home chilling one day. Right here at you. And King popped up. Uh -huh. No. You know what I'm saying? So I don't think the king coming over because he's like he need a friend or whatever to talk to because like he going through this shit with, with Neek, you feel me? So I ain't tripping, you know what I'm saying? Me and Carmen would come in, you know what I'm saying? We had food, it's good. He was like, you know, he just came over like on some normal ass shit. He never come. King don't never come over here like that, you know what I'm saying? So came over here one day. Came the next day. Yeah, I think he came a third day, right? Yeah, he just kept coming back, like not even. It was like a thing where he just came back and said, "Oh, I just stopped by and said, what's up?" Yeah, you know, it was just weird. Like, why you popping up on my house? Like, you know, why you, why you popping up over like that? Like, that's weird. But you know, like I say, I'm thinking that you know he coming over here because of you know what I'm saying what he going through. And you know the whole stalking situation allegedly. Into Carmen and Corey, some really creepy things started to happen while Corey was in Alabama. Uh, after that situation, I hear out Alabama the next day. I ordered Carmen some flowers, right? I sent her some flowers to the house. Flower never made it to the house. Flower never made it here. So I'm like, what the flower food popped up at the door. After, like some some food just dropped up at our house. She didn't order no food. So I'm like, who the just bring some food to our house. So she tell me that, uh, you know, she ain't ordering no food. So I'm like, I'm so and I right, and I noticed y'all I'm nine hours away. They started to feel that someone was stalking Carmen. And that's when things just got like weird and stuff. Like, you know, I didn't know like exactly what was going on. I don't know if I was like people was on some stalking shit. I don't know. Karma tips me ride past the house. So all these accusations from King and Nick was never properly addressed and just caused greater damage to Carmen's image. If it wasn't true, King should have addressed everything, not just give some lame ass blanket apology. But he never once even cleared the air. So people would be left assuming that the accusations were true. And not just King, but Nick too. Nick never cleared up anything. She never even revealed 
revealed that her and Carmen were becoming friends after the incident last year. And it's so funny because King is now putting his foot into the situation after the Neek and Carmen situation, but yet he still kind of dress everything. Like most of the things started because of him. Now, is Neek wrong? Now, the reason why this particular drama escalated was because Neek made a video stating that she would never be cool with Carmen. And ever since they got into the heated fight last year, Neek and Carmen never announced to the public how they got back together as friends afterwards. So people would assume that they were never cool after the incident that happened last year, which therefore would lead people into thinking that Carmen did do something with King. You feel me? A lot of people will have that assumption. Now, is Carmen wrong? I completely understand why Carmen reacted this way and she has every right to get mad because Neek was wrong for doing this. Like, she did not have to say anything on social media. She knows this. She knows this is gonna cause some type of drama. She's not stupid. There is so much stories and drama about Neek and she has never addressed anything. But with this particular thing, she just happens to want to address it. And I can't help but to feel that she's doing it in some way to get back at Carmen. Carmen is left looking like the bad person of the situation because again, King never addressed anything properly, neither did Neek. The only reason why the fans asked Neek if she would ever be cool with Carmen was because all that the fan knew was that they were never cool after the situation last year. They didn't know that they became friends again after that situation or were building their friendship or whatever you want to call it. And Neek really doesn't even know the truth herself because if Carmen is not right, right, and she really did F Neek's man, do you really think like Neek would let her come back into her house, come back into her car, hang around her kid? You really think she'll do that? Like, no. Now, Carmen isn't perfect, but Neek is one shady ass person. Just like what she did to Carmen by not apologizing and accepting her mistake, Neek always wants to put the blame on others. Another example that shows this behavior was when Neek got called out for uploading the video where one of her participants became a victim of colorism. I'm talking about my Smash or Pass video. A couple dudes in my video said some inappropriate things, which the Smash or Pass video is a very, very harsh video in general, and it's not for the weak. What? Um, this is gonna be weird. weird. It's not for the racist, colorist people. That's what it's not for. Man, all right, that's what it's not for. Shut your bitch ass. Anyways, you call me weak. It's not for She's the just weak. trying to make an excuse for what the she did. And I find it so funny that she. Oh, I understand why she get me reaction. She get. The video is childish and the content is childish, but y'all gotta understand. I give y'all what y'all wanna see. Y'all was very in tune into the Smash Pass videos. All my supporters love the content, so I give y'all stuff that y'all wanna see. What do you stand for? We didn't ask for a colorist video, I don't think. Somebody did? Did you? No. I don't think I did. Regardless of people on the outside world think that, you know, that it's inappropriate and that it's stupid and women shouldn't be lined up, which I understand that and I totally respect that. But why y'all got to lie? She says that Carmen's fake, right? But if this claim is true, that she sent an apology and then unsent it, that is really hypocritical of me. Except you said I'm sorry, but you told me in my DMs that it was an apology video. But you say it's sorry right I now. Did, I did see that she deleted so, it. And I, oh. Yeah, I'm confused. She deleted it. I'm confused. I'm confused. Oh, it's an apology? Or are you? Yes. yes. Bro, we should screenshot it. Caught it 4K. Got it! <laughs> I guess in this entertainment business, y'all, you gotta start screenshotting stuff. So, Carmen was right. Just like how Carmen called her out for trying to play victim or acting innocent, she's always the victim in the situation and she's always putting herself first, dismissing other people's feelings. And this is the same situation when she was promoting scams to her fans. And another thing, Neek's tweets respond to Carmen's video. The argument here is Neek is faking her friendship with Carmen after she claimed that she would never be cool with her even though they became friends again after the situation last year. Carmen argued that she was never fake and a snake to Neek because they became friends after the situation last year. However, when Carmen dropped the video, Neek disproved all of Carmen's arguments by attacking Carmen, claiming that she was a snake to make it seen to the public that Carmen is the bad one. Nick is the 
victim and she's trying to give the obsessed Carmen. Carmen even sent her flowers, trying to make out that she's the credible one. And the fallacy that's spotted here is called the ethical appeal. The ethical appeal means to convince an audience of an author's credibility or character. An author would use ethos to show to his audience that he is credible source and is worth listening to. Ethos is the Greek word for character. The word ethic is derived from ethos. So Nick never debunked Carmen's receipts to prove that she was in fake and a snake to her. All she did was rent, continue calling Carmen a snake and accuse her of her ex without presenting any proof to support her claim and debunk Carmen. The fallacy spotted here is called the appeal to ignorance because Nick only threw accusations without presenting evidence that will disprove Carmen's evidence. Not only did Nick never address nor debunk Carmen's proof against her accusations, she also brought up irrelevant arguments to attack Carmen's character. These are two fallacies spotted in this scenario, okay? It's called the relevant conclusion and also known as as ignoratio, elenchi, or missing the point, is the informal fallacy of presenting an argument that may or may not be logically valid and sound, but fails to address the issue in question, it falls into the broad class of relevance fallacies. And the reason why Nick did it, which is to attack Carmen's character, is to make it seem that she was a fake friend to Kiana, which is a fallacy called ad hominin. Attacking the person, this fallacy occurs when instead of addressing someone's argument or position, you irrelevantly attack the person or some aspect of the person who is making the argument. The fallacious attack can also be direct to members in a group or institution. So I can see through the bullshit straight away. Like Nick is not genuine, not honest at all, doing all these damn fallacies to make Carmen look bad to, again, make herself appear good. So she's very at the end of the day, obviously Neek doesn't feel that Carmen did cheat on King because why would she be hanging out with Carmen on the low after the situation happened? Why would she make a video addressing that again? And I honestly feel it was to get revenge on Carmen because Carmen had decided to have some standards and not put up with Neek's bullshit anymore and block her. Neek is upset because of that. And that's my opinion. But hey, what do I know? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments section below.